common misconceptions about I feel spirit is the fact that there's something behind me. And it's that, oh, I can, I can feel something behind me, but it's not always true. So if I was to take you inside the top right. and we stand here with the door open, knowing what's behind us, yeah. how do you feel? Do you feel, do you feel, do you feel, you feel quite comfortable right yeah. now? Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to step forward, keep looking at me, right. keep looking at me, and close the door. Do you feel less comfortable yeah, about what's yeah. behind you? Oh, yeah. And that's purely a sense sensation. That is, mm. you do not know what's going on behind that's you it. at all. So you, all your senses, all your heckles go up, and you can yeah. feel that coming up on the back of your neck. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. And that is, that is your fight flight syndrome. Yeah, yeah. That is because if someone then grabbed hold of you right now, you know you're going that way. Yeah, yeah. Right now. So that's your adrenaline kicking in, and that's a common misconception of. Mm. Oh, I felt something behind me. Yeah, what it is is you, the door's closing behind you, and you've got no idea of what is behind you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, again, that's a, I think when they were saying earlier, oh, when I close the door, close behind me, I get that feeling. You get the draft wafting you first, so now that makes you think more. Yeah. And then there's nothing behind you to reassure you that yeah. there's nothing there. The sensation changes completely if you just turn. Yeah, because I can see that way. And now you've got a whole different aspect on yeah. the, the, the feeling of the room. So, and the same would apply to this room here. You can't see in there. But I turn my back to it. Mm. I can't. And you can also, you could emulate the fact, you can make it worse by having a quick peek over my shoulder, it's also yeah. moves and I'm like... Yeah, yeah. Do you pick up anything, can you? No, I mean the first thing I did is when I came in here and the door shut straight behind me, is I automatically got that, yeah, yeah. that rush and that sort of followed up what the other girls had been saying before, that when the door closed behind you, you feel, oh there's someone yeah. behind me. And I don't think it's that, I do think it is that draft oh, yeah. wafting behind you, the fact that you can't feel behind you, it's not... In this condition, it's quite scary, but no light at all. It's quite cramped, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And there's no escape. Mm. You know, in the room here, there's no way out of here. So you instantly go, I don't feel a presence in here at all. Mm. I don't feel anything other than a little bit drafty. Because mm. it has been kind of reported that there's big bangs in this one, and then, do you know what I mean, when someone's yeah. coming to investigate, it's, it's moved to the, the gents, it's which is the other two. thing. They said it was a cellar before. Mm. Uh, it would have been open, do you know what I mean? This wall wouldn't have been, it would have been open. Yeah, I mean, right, and the two, right, right, two right. would have linked. Yeah, I mean, it's understandable that if it was a passageway, you might not necessarily be investigating. What you're hearing is a door slam and someone. Yeah, yeah, coming through. And physically yeah. coming through. And then back the other way. But there's nothing to say that wasn't the route that this was being taken. Mm -hmm. It was coming back through this part of the building. Mm -hmm.